Hey everyone, welcome to the J, the Tetsudo Moke podcast edition, episode 31. Hope everyone is having a good start of the week so far. And today, let's go ahead and uh, kick off with some uh, Tetsudo Moke news. So let's see what we have here. So looking at this news, we got a Tetsudoya in Nagoya, and they had... There's a store with a large layout where people can enjoy model trains and enjoying a cafe menu while seated by the window. The left back is the Iron Bridge at the Cafe Tetsudoya in Josai Nishi Ward, Nagoya City. So let's check this out. This is actually very nice. So they have the patrons right here, sitting right here. Got the trains where people can control it. This is very cool. Got children who can participate in it. It's really nice. Let's see here. So people of all ages come to enjoy the mall trains at the cafe. Oh, they have a video. Okay, let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out the Cafe Tetsudoya. Let's look at this real quick and just admire this diorama. Look at these uh, rock formations right here. Really cool. Got the uh, seats right here where the patrons can sit. Okay, let's go ahead and play. Okay, got some freight trains right there. It looks like the new Kyushu one, is it? I can't tell. Good. Allow people to uh, learn how to. Uh, this is what I love about these cafes, especially now in Japan. You know they're booming with train cafes. Really, uh, you know, I love the LED lights there, the rainbow LED lights. But I like what they're doing in terms of trying to pop you, uh, make it popular among younger people, younger kids, so that the tradition or the uh, the continuation of, of train collecting uh, becomes an interest for fans for many years to come. I like that. That's a beautiful train. Love those LED lights there. Okay, that's it. Okay, I'm going to do a reaction video right now. And this is... Um, a youtuber who i follow um, yuto and he is a person that has had a really big diorama setup but he redid everything and so he did it but he redid it again uh and it's really interesting because a lot of people you know once they get things all set up and they tend to keep it but He's a person that, uh, I don't want to use the word perfectionist, but he is someone that really does a great job in creating diar dioramas and getting what he wants. So let's go ahead and hit play. Let's check it out here. Hi, ということで、はい、えー、大変お待たせいたしました。今日はですね、えー、レイアウト紹介を、えー、やりたいと思います。First, let's, let's pause here. I've been looking for a Tokyo Tower and a Tokyo Sky Tree um, model to uh, to uh, utilize. I've seen pagodas, but let's uh, let's go ahead and check out the rest of the video here. So I'll be pausing quite a bit to do some commentary. え今年2023年に入りましてまたレイアウトを変えましたはい前回のレイアウトはですねまあ2021年だったと思うんですけどの秋ぐらいかなに加藤のレールを使ってですね OK so that's when you started getting everything you know set up this is way in the beginning 1年以上レイアウトかな1年半ぐらい一応続きましてはい楽しく遊ばせていただきましたけどもまあ、何にも今回告知もなくね、えー、変えてしまったんですけど今日はそのレイアウトが、まあ、どんな感じになったのか、えー、ご紹介できればいいなと思います
でもうすでにこう映っているんですけどもまた今回もちょっと複雑な少しレイアウトプランになっているんですけども、あのー、今回のレイアウトはですね以前の部屋で作っていたレイアウトって皆さん覚えてますでしょうかこちらの部屋ではなくなんか2020年より前ですね2019年ぐらいの動画だとわかるかなと思うんですけどその時はねちょっと違う部屋でもともと違う部屋でレイアウトを作ってやってたんですけどもその時のちょっとレイアウトをちょっと参考にしながら今回その時のレイアウトだったので今回は完全にねイメージしながらちょっと作ったっていうのでちょっと懐かしい要素がたくさんあると思いますのでさっそくご覧いただこうかなと思いますそれでは,それは,それは,はいそれでは早速レイアウト全体をまずお見せしようかなと思います、so、viaduct, あとでまた一つ一つ,一つ,一つ,一つ細かくご紹介しますがとりあえず全体を先に見ていただいた方が分かりやすいかなと思いますこんな感じですねちょっといろいろまだものがたくさんあってまだ完全にですね、okay, あそう、まだ完成したわけではございません。そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、Spray painting them as this green,、um, dark green color, and then he started building with clay around it and then adding glue and the foliage, which was pretty, which is well done. But what makes it really look awesome is when the train is coming by and you start to see the reflections on the on his, his water or his,、uh, the, the rice field. Well, not, I don't want to say rice fields, but、uh, the field. Uh, on the water, so it's like a reflection. A lot of people tend to go for blue water.、Um, I, I know with mine, I have really small area, but you know, I have mine blue.、Um, but for the most part,、um, you know, doing this countryside thing, you don't really see blue water because it's in the middle of farming and you get the grounds like brownish. I mean, with the green foliage, you get that green. But I do like what he did here.、Um, Especially what he did compared to his previous uh, diorama, uh, the second iteration,、uh, when he had right here, he had the farming here, and、um, I think he was contemplating of having more cities or buildings and structures. and But in the end, he started, when he redid his rebuild, he started adding this uh, little uh, this, this, uh, this mound. To, to、uh, incorporate his railroad tracks. And I think it's actually a very, very cool idea. And I, I like how it turned out. Let's go ahead and check it out. So, I think it's a very cool idea. And 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 I think it's a very cool idea. In a way,、uh, I like how he did this. Mine. I need to figure out a way for more stability because I have my, my cars and I do have railings that I've used from the Tomix railings, but、um, it's not as stable as I wish it would. I, I need some, I should have put some towers actually. I should have done something like this. I'm not sure if he made them out of pure wood or what. I, I am not too. Familiar with this type of uh, stand. Um, I think I was perusing his、uh, YouTube channel to see what he had and how he built it, but for the most part, I do like it and、uh, I have something similar to it right now.、Um, minus the signs, I, I do want to get something like that、um, freeway signs because、uh, if you see my freeway diorama, diorama but、uh, videos. From Japan, you can see how that's incorporated. I don't have any cars as、uh, I, again, 1 150 vehicles are not exactly cheap.、Um, you can get bus, easily get bus and freight truck、um, trains a little bit much more cheaper through Amazon Japan,、uh, through the uh, Tomi Tech uh, Dayo Kale and uh, the bus Kale. So let's go ahead and これはですねちょっとおいおいやっていこうと思っておりますまあ一応全体がこんな感じになっておりますいかがでしょうか大体分かりになりますわかりというか大体分かりますかねこれで
、はいはいまあ、簡単に言っちゃうとこのレイアウトはですね、まあ、あの要はその前のレイアウト前の部屋の時に作ってたレイアウトみたいな感じで伏線でこうロングランな勾配区間があるレイアウトプランに今回はしました。Okay, so he's、uh, creating a long、uh, line layout. And this is one thing is that even though this,、uh, this diorama looks small, it's actually quite expansive. In a way, I wish、uh, I could do something like this because you really can get the, fill, the full benefit of having a long liner and going through multiple because he has this tunnel that he had from his other diorama. So he's, he has actually multiple lines, and the way the length of it,、uh, width wise, is what、uh, I really like what he did. His decision to、uh, go with width、um, and to have, so he can actually have longer lines incorporated into his diorama.、Um, for me, I have probably half. Well, not even half. Yeah, possibly half of what he has,、um, or a little bit more. But the thing is, is that I cannot, mine are all contained to a certain area that I cannot do super long lines. I could probably do about six at the most, but not what he does. He, does, he, he has a lot of trains. でせっかく購買ね前回廃止してもう購買やりません的なことは言ったのかわかんないけど。This is one thing I saw. I saw. So for those who see my Toyoko in, I have all I have. I'm using puck lights right now. LED puck lights. Actually, I prefer LED puck lights.、Um, I'm not a person, even though I did purchase certain things for wiring and everything to go underneath the table.、Um, I decided for me. Um, the kind of person that I am, I'm not very electrical savvy. So I started going, I started utilizing、um, a lot of cable LEDs, which can go into a driver or so. And、um, excuse me, I'm drinking some coffee here.、Um, <laughs> sorry, I got something in my throat here. Okay, what I like about his、uh, the Toyoka N. Is that he has、um, black in some windows? That's pretty smart because, in, tr in, in truth, all hotels are not always、um, occupied and you don't want to have them all lit up. So I think that was smart that he did that, but、um, that's a little bit more work if you want to do it. But、uh, I think that was a really good idea. So.、Um, Kudos to him for, for、uh, planning that out. I was like, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 Tokyo Tower, because I've seen others, but nothing that big. I see something about like 12 inches. His is about possibly 20. That was probably 26 or 28 inches. I'm looking because I have a Toyoka in also, I'm just seeing the size comparison. Oh, and one thing I like also that he did is that、um, this is, in a way, it does, it does well, I don't want to say it does cost a lot more, but it does cost money. For one,、uh, looking at it, he did invest in quite a, quite a few vehicles, and especially the small ones and some buses and so forth. So there is a. He did, quite, he did spend quite a bit on, on the vehicles itself.、Um, but then you have also the rails. The rails you could get a lot for, for cheap, but then you have to be really meticulous in, in getting them because there's no stand on them. So you really either have to drill them or you really have to glue them on very carefully. And how he did that was just very.、Um, I like that. So he has an actual freeway in the middle, and the one we saw towards the left going into cross, Crossway. 
vertically and horizontally. I, I like that. Um, yeah, that's this is uh, this is a pretty good planning here. I originally, when I had mine planned, I actually had roadways. I didn't want to have uh, uh, like a freeway. Well, actually, I, I wanted to have a freeway, but towards the top area, um, towards the rear of my diorama. But having it go across, I thought about it, but instead I said, you know what? You have to make a choice. Um, more railways, more buildings, and in a way it takes away the, the realism. But I want to, uh, um, being a, a person who loves rail cars and trams, I wanted to incorporate uh, about three lines dedicated to trams so I went ahead and did that but I had to sacrifice actually roads uh, for for uh, cars uh, in my diorama but I like the decision that he made uh, very smart and as you can see here he has some of these dark trees as well going right there so I like the idea um, especially the idea of uh, painting um, he paints his railroads with a brown uh, that's very good. He has an airbrush. So uh, again, um, kudos to to the to uh, Yuto for that. He also weathered some of these buildings as well. You can see right here. Um, again, you know, you know, you don't have to be an airbrush specialist. You can just get the gunpla or the Gundam um, weathering uh, using. So you could just use a little brush to weather things. But um, yeah. Um, it's a good skill to have to know how to do um, airbrushing to weather the buildings. Zenzen Mondai Nakata, this is it. Hi. Jackano, Odorico, Konaida, Goshokasha, Inyago, Junanake, Areva, this is it. Fly Ho Yil, a tweet, and I know the Archoto Curio Nandagado, nobody was to look at me not the. I saw that he also uh, put LED lights in his uh, company stores, which I've done as well. Now, I think, uh... So, we're in Norway. Oh, come First on. trip together, and it's going pretty well. But Let's see here. On our way to tour this troll theme. Okay.気に入ってるんでね、こんな感じでございます。前、actually はい、これなんていうんですかね、これ2名4000駅ですね。同じみのというか、過去のレイアウトでも何回かね、やったことあります。Okay, this is one thing you'll notice in Yuto's uh, setup. He has multiple um, islands. Uh, he has the main left and right. Um, looks like the Tomix one, uh, which are not too expensive. But I think he has a really long stretch of, uh, of the... Um, well, maybe it's not Tomix because I know that uh, Tomix has the usual stand, uh, the light stands and the uh, the side stands. Um, so this may be Kato, but um, I noticed that he has also the um, he also well no it could be Tomix. Looking at mine right now, but. I know he has LED lighting going through his uh, station. こんな感じの he has videos of uh, various switch points through his train, and I thought that was really cool uh, what he did there. Originally planned, I had a few switch points in my diorama, 
but I had to remove them. I decided to make them um, individual lines. If I had a longer width set, I would have used uh, multiple switch points. As you can see here, let's, 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 let's uh, so you got the one, let's start from the beginning here, so he has the one, we'll count, we'll play, play again, so you got the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Wow. I have two on mine. So that can show you the width plus the island portion for the ends. That is, he has a pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty big. So he has a pretty, um, his room size has really good width. Because I'm looking at mine right now with two. Couldn't um, let's see here. I do have an island on one of them, but wow, that's that 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 means he really has a wide room to have that many to incorporate that many. はい、今ちょっと水風、後で走らせますけど、水風が止まってますけどね、こんな感じで。そしてこの駅のこっち側なんですけども、見てください。なんとね、この上に高速道路があります。Okay. So just to let you know that um, the police vehicles, they come in the four pack. I believe that one's a Kato uh, release. And I think the four pack is like about, comes down to about like $15. The buses, of course, um, unless you get a bus collection, you could get 10 of them for a hundred bucks or actually more like $75. Um, uh, I'm going by U.S. dollars, by the way. Um, again, the U.S. dollar is um, doing much better than the yen, so you can get better deals at this time. Um, again, you take advantage of take advantage of it while you can, because things can change anytime soon, and uh, you'll be back to uh, normal. I mean, for Japan, I know they've been waiting for that, and uh, they want to see their economy improve because they have been. Uh, it's been a uh, uh, it's been predict predicted, especially in the model railroad uh, business, that um, that it's going to be a tough year because of the rising cost of materials, uh, the rising prices, and also um, yeah, it's gonna it's definitely going to affect these companies quite a bit. But uh, going back to going back in topic here, I like what he did here uh, with the signs. Again, um, looking at this, I don't think I've seen anything like this to create this. I did install this, but I never, I don't think I've seen this part. But um, if I had to do it again, I would probably have used foam to go across. And and yeah, just buy a la large strip of um, foam, and then put the uh, ro uh, road pieces. What I ended up doing instead of foam, I bought the thicker the thicker um, foam boards, not the thicker foam boards, but the the little sturdy ones, like black a black one. Uh, instead of actual uh, thick foam. And why I kind of regret that is because for stability, um, even though these uh, cars are very light, um, I don't know. I just, I just, I feel that it wasn't, I'm not getting the, uh, the height and also the, the stability that I wished for. I might have to redo it again to redo the whole freeway, which I don't mind. It's just that, unfortunately, I put all these parts right here 
and I actually used modeling cement uh, to keep on there. I mean, I, I didn't put a lot on it, so I can just easily take it out, but it's going to take some work to redo it, do redo everything. I, I think if I redo it, it's going to be a lot higher. I have mined about one, two, three, four, five, about five to six inches in height. He has about the same thing, I think. Well, maybe five on his, but I think I would go a little higher on mine um, for my for my diorama. Um, also, you can see here he has more cars going right here. Um, again, this is uh, uh, a lot of people don't realize that the cars are very expensive. I talk about it in my last episode about the Takara Tomi ones and. Um, if, of course, if you want to use your, there's some people who will not spend, and you'll see some people with their dioramas, they'll put Hot Wheels and other sides of cars. They don't care of the the scale. Uh, for me, I try to stick with one 150, and by doing so, um, that means you're going to have to pay more, and that's the unfortunate thing. I actually went to a few hobby stores, uh, like Hobby Lobby in America to see if there were 1150 scale. They do have things that are bigger and they do have 1150 but they're all military ones. I think that's where the <laughs> uh, I think that's where a lot of the uh, the focus is on um, especially when it comes to models is uh, plastic models in the US. Um, while they have the Gunpla, the Gundam, a lot a lot of uh, an anime, uh, they tend to put a lot towards World War II uh, or World War One uh, type of uh, models, so really classic stuff there. Um, I, for me, I have a cityscape. I do not want as much as I love GI Joe. I do not want a GI Joe his tank um, or uh, a vamp uh, on my diorama. Um, I want uh, I want to keep it uh, keep it towards Japanese vehicles, and uh, I think if anything, the recent investment in the uh truck collection uh paid off it i like the fact that you get 10 and it was not too expensive at first i was getting a little bit uh there was a little sticker shock because of you know i said do i really want to pay ten dollars a vehicle per vehicle i mean they're very they're really well made they're plastic and they're very detailed it's just that um you know i guess if you're used to getting one uh 64 uh, ratio uh, Hot Wheels or Matchbox at such a uh, cheap cost, you know, it, it, it's kind of hard to think, why is something so smaller, much smaller, or so much more expensive? And it's just the amount of detail and also the licensing from the companies. I'm sure they, they it costs money for that as well. So I have no, um, no qualms about uh, uh, paying a little bit more. It's just how it is. And again, you're, this is... Uh, it comes with the territory of buying uh, Japanese um, imported, uh, you know, vehicles. Uh, they're they're such a again they're such a collector's uh, a collector's um, benefit to it because they can be resold and people will buy them. Granted, um, you just have to uh, just to, like for instance I'll, I'll give an example I, I got something like this and someone was selling it for eighteen dollars but then with the shipping it became like twenty five dollars so you're you're spending you know quite a bit um, you know people are getting their money's worth definitely on uh, the Takara, uh, the Tomitech vehicles um, because they once they release they don't really re-release them so that's the benefit for collectors of getting that. In addition, uh, in Japan, a lot of these, while they do release them as sets, if you listen, if you didn't listen to my last episode, a lot of them are released in uh, mystery boxes. So people don't know what they're going to get if you're going to buy them individually. Otherwise, if you buy a full set, it doesn't. Uh, you, you tend to get the full, all 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 vehicles included. But uh, I do like what he did here. Um, Looking at his uh, the bridge that he made, he has a video on that, um, especially how he weathered it and so forth. Um, yeah, I, I like I like what he did here. It's it's very cool. Um, yeah, let's go on. Kyokyaku ga tatte orimashite, soko o tooru wake desu yo. 
でこっちもねこの鉄橋を渡って And by the way, he kind of had to love right here the, the Twilight Express m i z u k a z e that he has on the bottom. そういうシーンがねここで楽しむことができます。この高速道路もですね、前回、これ去年の10月とか9月とかに多分買ったやつだと思うんですけども、まあ、福福線レアートでね、使っておりました。それを今回もまた使いました。はい。まあ、その時とちょっと配置の方法とか異なるんですけど、一応こんな感じで2段に重ねて。Let's pause here.、Um, looking at this, this,、uh, this building right here, and I'm kind of curious if these are paper crafts. Um, one thing you'll notice on Amazon Japan s there's a lot of paper structures, but Uh, sometimes they're not as, as cost effective as just getting a full building, but、um, yeah, if you, if you,、um, I think also if there's a benefit if you have your own 3D printer, if you can do that, that's even wonderful. But、uh, again, I'm looking at the details here. He has the brown ballast that he got there, I think that's very smart. Um, got some of that grass right here, little foliage. He also added these signs. This is one thing, though, that people don't realize is that you only get so many of these, uh, these, uh, these rails. Or these, and he has rails going across, if you could see here, right in his roads, in front of stores. And I bought like maybe two or three sets of those. And. You know, it can get pricey.、Um, you know, it does add up. So, you know, looking at his、uh, Dharama already, it may, you know, looking from afar, some people may think it's simple, but no, this is actually a very well thought out planned Dharama. And、um, looking at the vehicles, again, when people see the vehicles and everything, they think, oh, you know, oh, that's nice. Uh, but for me, when I see this and I see many vehicles, first thing that comes to my mind is wow, he invested a lot,、uh, knowing that these things do not come cheap. Yeah, I've done it. で、ちょっとそれで分かりにくいんだけどもこれ駅出発したところにこれ渡り線、片渡り線がありますはい、これポイント前回、北線レアートでかなりいっぱい使ってたんで余っちゃったんですよね、今回のレアートの時に。だったのであこういうふうにしたら面白いんじゃないかなということで実際にこれあの使えますよ飾りとかじゃなくてちゃんと片,り片渡り線として機能しま、well. 外,が外回り線から内回り線にこう移動させるときもいちいち一回外してまたリレーラーで乗せ替えるってことはなくなるということですねこれもまあ頻繁には使用することはないんだけどあったらあったら便,あったらあったら便利だなということで One thing I do want to mention is that let's go back here Let's go back Okay Um, I ordered、uh, these tape, these little thin tape to make line, like li little lines for your freeways. And I have to tell you,、um, I got them on eBay, even really nice ones, and、um, they suck. You literally have to use glue because some parts stick on, but if you try to move things around, or even if you try to,、uh, the adhesive is just not the greatest. So. I got a few white and yellow ones for the, my、uh, freeways and roads, and it was such a pain in the butt. And I literally had to resort to gluing them on because the adhesive is not strong enough, depending on the surface, of course. I think you know, a lot of these were designed for cars, so I thought the adhesive would be really strong.、Uh, they weren't.、Um, you could see that he did some modifications, so there was a little bit of these marks right here. He had to remove things, but at the same time, though, I will say、uh, for those who want to get these little tape,、um, while they are the most effective thing、uh, to have them,、uh, because the thing is, if you want to cut it out in the beginning, I actually got paper and I was like cutting them in strips, but I thought that was a pain in the butt, so I decided to go for this line tape, which is a lot better. But I thought, okay, cool, I pull it on, it'll stick on there, and I'm good. Uh, that's not necessarily the case.、Um, prepare to have some glue just in case they, don't, they, they tend to pop off and they tend to come off, which is surely going to happen. They're not, they're not perfect, but、uh, if you have some glue in place,、uh, it can stay in place.
これ便利だなってことで、ね、なんかカミカミ使っておりますでこれまた相変わらずこの中はね入れるんですけどちょっと今日は事情があってねこの下がちょっと荷物がいっぱい置いてあって今ちょっと入れないので大変申し訳ないんですけどちょっと今日入りませんただ前のようにね、okay. えー、入ってここ This is another thing that I, I, I like what he did is that he added this、uh, little panel So he can work on things from the side.、Um, I could tell you for me,、um, I could only work from the left and the front. I don't have room on the side or the rear. So、um, having this little panel right here where he could go, especially if he, since this thing extends,、um, he can actually go in and you know, work on things for maintenance and so forth. I think、um, that's a very good idea right there. So kudos to him for planning that. Maintenance, study, s a t s study, so what are the most of the is this room at the Mio Kanatomimus? A mini quid is get a more Okuga, a hash, the call by no bot takimus. I chose to call it Okuga and the same of me, the Kitatomons, good on the Ganji, the call by no bot takimus. でぐるっと回ってこれさっき紹介したところですけどねそして今回のレイアウトの一番手がかかったというか一番悩んで、ね、苦労したところでありますがもうすでに動画で私何回も紹介しておりますが紹介というかお見せしておりますけどもこれですねはい築堤の大カーブというんですかねの区間でございますこれ今までこんなに大きいカーブの、ね、レイアウトはなかったと思いますでいずれね時間があればこのどういうふうにこのカーブを作ったかっていう動画もね今度、えー、時間があればご紹介しようかなと思ってますので細かいことはその時お話ししようかなと思いますちょっとすでにこの動画長くなっちゃうんでねはいそしてこの下、ね、この間動画アップしようと思いますけどもいいす水田っていうんですかねはい、so、これはですね、まあ、ちょっと今車両がいないのでわからないと思うんですけどわかりにくいと思うんですけど、まあ、ここにね実際に車両が通過するとこの水面に車両が反射するというそういう、えー、ギミックがあります<笑>、はいまあ、そしてこんな感じでねさっきのとこですけども鉄橋があってガーター橋鉄橋があってぐるっと回って勾配降りて一周するという感じになっておりますねはいでこれ去年の12月に買ったこのトミックスのビルドの窓のところがこれ鏡みたいに反射するんですけどこれ前回の夫婦線レアートだとこの広角感がなかったのでうまくこれ映んなかったんですよねでも今回はこんな感じでもうガード鉄橋のこのところに置きましたんでここの車両通過すると必ずこの窓ガラスに映るということですねこれはすごくいいですよ、うん、そして一応道路もこんな感じで作ってあります結構適当なんですけど、ね、I actually what I did with mine with mine is that I ended up、um, printing I went ahead and did everything on、um, You know, Illustrator or an equivalent of that,、um, and then just、uh, printing it. So you kind of have to use some of your printer ink because it gets a little dark. But、um, what I ended up doing is for the roads, I ended up using black, like a blackish、um, sandpaper. And then when I printed it out, I could easily cut,、uh, it has a similar dark color, so I could do that. And、uh, I, I did、um, thought about using the, I bought like even white tape to cut in strips, but I realized that by cutting it with a scissor,、um, it started to dull the,、uh, the scissor, got like the, the sticker gunk on it. So then I moved to a blade, and then I realized, you know what, some of these tapes、uh, tend to warp, and I couldn't get everything the same size. So I said, you know what, Forget that. I'm just going to go ahead and print everything on a printer.、Um, there you go. Like here, like I said, with the tape, it, it, the adhesive is not good, so it does come off. So you definitely want to glue them.、I'll, also, I noticed that when I start gluing the paper, it starts to ruffle, and I'm like, ah, this is not good. So, in a way,、um, yeah,、uh, the good news is that、uh, not too many people are going to see those little imperfections because everyone's looking at the trains and it's far off. But for me, yeah, I, I, I realized that it was starting for, for my, my purpose of using those, those string, those line tapes. It's just not, it, I mean, it works and it's effective in the way it making it straight, and especially for long pieces. 
But the thing is, again, have adhesive ready, some glue or something, because it's a pain. Oh, it's important to note that he uses LED lamps as well. ま、ざっくり説明しちゃいましたけども、こんな感じでございます。LD ホワイライトエクスプレス水風を一周させてみてみようかなと思います。それでは行ってらっしゃい。あ、わあ。久しぶりの水風の。てかこのレイアウト初めての走行なんでね。Also, oh, wow. if you know of Japanese railroad fans who own a Mizukage, a Twilight Express, or even the uh, oh, what is it? いや、久しぶりの勾配区間でございますよ。で、that is so beautiful. I may not have the, the Kato Mizukage, but I do have the Play Rail, <laughs> which is uh, currently uh, at a great price, the deluxe version on Amazon. But yeah, anything like uh, these trades, they're just worth talk about great collector selections there if you could get your hands on one. Especially the Kyushu <laughs> 7 Star. で、え、また勾配をね、下っていきます。そしてこの山の後ろ、こうちょっと1回列車が隠れてしまいますけども。そして最後ですね。<laughs> okay, we're gonna check out another YouTube video. I mean, his 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 uh, YouTube channel has so much information. I mean, there's a lot of uh, railway YouTubers, but what I like about Yuto's uh, YouTube channel is that um, his is not more of the promoting the actual product from uh, Kato or Tomex, Microwaves, Green Max, you, you know it. Uh, uh, these other YouTubers were very famous for that, for their railway videos, but his is about improving his diorama, and that's what I like about his, uh, his YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and check out this one and how he built that, uh, that freeway panel section. はい、どうも皆さんこんにちは。ユートホンソウ局のユートでございます。ということで、この間の動画でですね、ちょっと急遽またレイアウトがプチリニューアルしますということで動画をアップさせていただきました。で、ま、具体的に何かっていうと、また
、あのー、どんなもんなのかなっていうので、まあ、ちょっと買ったんですけどあまりにかっこよかったんでさらにちょっと追加で買ったものを今回ちょっと紹介するという形になります、はい、でですねこちらの商品はですね発売されたばかりなんですよね今まあ10月なんですけど実はこれ先月9月に発売された商品でございましてまだまだ新しいということでございまして中にはねちょっとどんなのって気になってる方いらっしゃるかなと思うんでこの動画が少しでも参考になれば嬉しいなと思いますでこちらお値段なんですがメーカー価格4400円になります値段がね高いんですよねしょうがないと思うんですけどね2つ買うともうこれでね8000円ぐらいいくんですよなんでちょっとお値段は高いんですけど、まあ、ちょっと今回はあまりにかっこよかったということで買ってしまいましたということで早速ですがこれ開けていきたいと思いますどうぞ so, It's called the 172 can,、um, 172 Express Way goes about 3450 or 3800 yen はいということでですね早速開けていきたいと思いますこれはねこんな感じで結構大きいんですよ、うん、こんな感じででまずパッケージさっきも言ったんですけどパッケージがかっこいいですよねこれちょっとあの思わずね、えー、欲しくなってしまったんですけども、はい、で、えー、まあ一応こんな感じですねこういう感じでいくつか写真があって分かりやすいですねこれめっちゃ本物に本物っぽいですよねこの感じ使い方はまあいろいろありますこれ複数購入してまあ連結してね長くしたりとかできたりあとこれ橋脚まあ入ってるんですけどもこのこれ重ねることができるんですね重ねてさらに高くして二段にするとかね下手したら三段にするとかでもできると思いますあとは1セットだと1セットとかにこれだけしか買ってないんですけどさらにねもう1つ買ってこんな感じでね並べるとこれ上りと下りみたいな感じでねこう2線ずつできるのでまあ今回それが実は自分がやりたいということでこれ,これをやりたいということでちょっと買いましたねいくつかであとはこれかっこいいっすよね鉄道の上をこう高速道路はねまたぐというかこれもかこれこれやりたいですよね、これがやりたくてねもう何が<笑>そう、ね、ちょっとあれですけど、And, uh, こかっこよくてとにかくかっこいいです、And、久しぶりにこれはちょっと感動してますけどもということでございます何言ってるか分かんない開封していきましょう,しょう、sure、で実はねこれ箱こんなにでかいんだけど中身はねそんなないんですよこれ面白いよねこんなでかい箱使わせてあるかっていうぐらいなんか結構余ってるんですよね。ポテチ上げたらあのポテチって結,結構下の方しかね結局なくて上空間結構あるみたいな感じ<笑>よくわかんないけどこんなでかい箱にする必要があるのかなっていうぐらい箱がでかいです。I mean, I mean, cool. うん、おこんな感じで超道路あとはこれですね。橋脚これは一応四つついてます。Okay, here we go. ですかね、分かんないですけど、so you got, はい uh, こんな感じで、right um, are some, uh, my, um, こんな感じで、こんな感じで、こんな感じで、こんな感じで、こんな感じで、こんな感じで、こんな感じで、こんな感じで、こんな感じで、こんな感じで、こんな感じで、こんな感じで、こんな感じで、こんな感じで、こんな感じで、こんな感じで、こんな感じで、こんな感じで、こんな感じで、こまあ、これ例えば235系横須賀線をたまたまあったんで、okay, let's look forward a little bit. これでほぼ形になってますねせっかくなのでシールをちょっとつけようかなと思いますちょっとこの警戒色みたいなです、ね so、これをですねここのところに貼っていこうかなと思いますほい車いないなこんな空いてる高速道路はすごいよね逆にどうです2つあった方がやっぱいいかもしれないこれだけでもいいけどこう来ちゃうとやっぱこれかっこいいよはいで私がやりたいのはこれ橋脚ちょっと数をこう位置とかね数とか考えながらここに列車通したいんですよねこれ列車の上高速道路みたいなそれをやりたいなと思います逆もいいけどねあ逆もかっこよそうこの上あの列車通るみたいなねそれも良さそうだけどでもちろんねちょっと今向きが向きおかしいけどつなげようと思えばつなげることができます永遠につなげられます、okay. はい so, お金があればそれこそ本当に高速道路 Let's see what you get here So you get a mini road with one lane on each side with soundproof walls and signs 
uh, since the road surface is expressed by weathering, the marks made by cars, tires rubbing on a on the road, so it creates a real high, highway di um, realistic highway diorama. If you use multiple sets and line it up, it can be a two lane road on one side. It can be extended in the length direction so you can draw your favorite layout. If you connect the piers, you can be produced across railroad and railroad tracks, across railroad and railroad tracks. So you get uh, three bridge girders, four bridge piers, three soundproof walls, and three walls. So actually, this is two sets right here that he has. It's not uh, one set, but uh, two sets. So it's actually a you know pretty cool idea. Um, let's continue. ロの凄いものが作れ作れるんじゃないかな、ジオラマに。ただこれカーブができないんですよね、今のところ。そのうち電のかな。ちょっとこれカーブとかがね、出れば直線以外のこともできたりしますけど。まあ、そう、we ちょっと雰囲気が出るように、ま、適当に家にあったですね。観光バスとか。ちょっと警察車両も置いてみました。どうでしょう。車を置いたら一気に降りてきましたね。He ここの分までしかできないんですよ。なんでここれ。あとこれ3セット目は2つだけで1個はちょっと余っていました。しまってあるんですけど、これだけで結構ね、あの、お金がかかってしまったんですが、めちゃめちゃかっこよくなりました。
to make it right because I do have a railroad going under. Um, well, this is the thing though. He he's going. Um, he has it going horizontally uh, towards his trucks, which are going up vertically. Um, I have mine actually riding under the. Uh, I have a single track running under the bridge. So, but still, it's something that um, you know that I'm interested in. And I like the fact that you get the signs. I like the fact that you have these walls, the walls, the soundproof walls. Um, but it's a very good set. And uh, seeing how it works on his diorama, I like it. Uh, not sure if you weathered this or it came pre I think these things come pre-weathered. So. Uh, but for the most part, I do like it a lot. It was just released on uh, September 2022. But looks like... Um, they don't have it on Amazon Japan, so you could probably get it on eBay and Plaza uh, Japan and other sites as well. Hopefully not too much, but um, yeah, it's something worth uh, checking out. But yeah, I really do enjoy uh, Yuto's, um, uh, his YouTube channel. Uh, you can find uh, his YouTube channel here at uh, Yokomo Mark 2. And uh, as you can see here, he has so many videos um, dedicated to uh, <laughs> dedicated to trains and uh, uh, and model trains, and it's just uh, just a wonderful channel. So definitely check that out. Uh, definitely worth checking um, checking out his um, how to guides, especially because if you go through here, there is just so much so much content, uh, really positive content. And again, focused on his diorama building. Some ideas that I, when I watched, I'm like, "Wow, this is a really good idea," and I try to incorporate mine. So, definitely get give his channel um, a try. It's definitely, I definitely recommend it. So, okay, we're approaching the hour now. So again, um, check out Yuto's uh, YouTube channel. Definitely recommended. Again, definitely, 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 definitely recommended. Uh, it's awesome. It's awesome. So um, before we leave, I uh, just want to say that I do have quite a few train reviews um, uh, to uh, to discuss in the next episode and a lot of other Tetsudo Moke stuff. Um, also some news about the Suigaya Katsumi acquisition. Again, um, that's probably what I've been reading a lot in the news. That's a, That was big news of the Katsumi company. Um, you know, the long running HO gauge company in Japan, Japan selling their uh, business. Uh, all shares were purchased by Surugaya, an online uh, company. And um, I talked about it in last episode. It's, it is pretty huge. Um, but does it uh, equate to um, the, the sales or is there a sales issue in Japan or what? Um, I don't know. We know that uh, things are dropping. I mean, there's Yana Research does usually conduct this. Uh, they usually check out the trends. We know through the coronavirus pandemic, uh, the model train uh, hobby um, has increased. But also, it's something not to really uh, take focus on because everyone knew that. And I think this is just not just train companies, but a lot of companies who benefited from the pandemic with stay at home. Uh, once that was over. And people went back to their uh, of uh, the new normal of their lives. Um, things were going to change. Things were going to change. And I do know that Yano Research has mentioned in some of their uh, articles that 2023 is going to be a difficult year because of rising uh, prices, uh, the cost of materials, and uh, we're starting to see some changes right now. We're trying to see starting to see some shifts. As mentioned, with uh, the cheapest line, with the Pla Rail from Takarotomi, uh, more going towards the ES line, and also making things single speed. Of course, you'll have the other trains that will benefit the uh, the hardcore collectors, but at the same time, uh, even with the engaged stuff, we're starting to see um, possibly less trains and also um, the reversal where uh, people can get the basic sets for cheap and then buy the add-ons. Now we're seeing people uh, having to get basic sets which are a little bit more expensive now and then the smaller add-on sets to be much more cheaper um, 
I think uh, usually they, they tend to offer back then like three sets. You get the, the main set with the motor and a trailer car, and then you got a middle set, and then you got a third set uh, to add more. But I think now what the plan is is just to uh, have the basic sets, have more trains, and uh, sell for a little bit more of a higher price point. Uh, so I think if anything, we're going to see some changes. It's not going to be the easiest changes, but I think it's something that's necessary, uh, for these companies to survive. It's just the nature of how things are right now, especially in Japan, having seen so many, uh, store closures. Um, I think the future uh, right now of model train, um, train model, uh, collecting in Japan is going to be the used market. I think that um, as uh, with Jap Japan being an aging society, uh, we're going to see or people who are or also newly getting married and their uh, significant other uh, wanting them to sell their stuff. We're going to see a lot of stuff being sold because um, when it comes to train collectors, one train's not enough. They're going to have large collections, and and I think that there's some who may just want to part ways, you know, because they don't give it enough play. Uh, I think that's just going to be how things are. We're going to see a boom in consignment uh, for trains. Um, you know, when you see when you go to Akihabara, you see it already with a lot of figurines and people putting their stuff in consignment. I think uh, that's how it is. We're going to see Japanese uh, uh, train rental shops, maybe pop-ups show up once in a while. I think that's going to be the future of uh, train modeling, similar to uh, what's going on with the vehicle market in the U.S. with the um, semiconductor issues, uh, with new cars being so expensive, we're seeing people buying more used cars. I think right now with the costs of Japan being so high, uh, we're going to see people really purchasing used um, train models. But one thing that can be said about uh, Tetsuro Moke fans, they are hardcore and taking care of their their trains uh, i mean how they put a lot of respect into the actual trains and the tracks uh, a lot of tetsudo moke fans do the same thing um they're very uh, careful in maintaining their engage or ho gauge trains i can't say so much for plurel uh, because you're going to see uh by the way i decided to say plurel instead of play rail but um i think um uh, because those are plastic and can face a little bit more, uh, f uh, a little bit more uh, falls, <laughs> you could say, uh, or accident uh, type of videos. You'll see a lot of people continue that YouTube videos. I, I see people who make ta like spiral towers with nothing connected and seeing their train fall from a height. Uh, I'm not that kind of person that would do that to my trains. I have too much respect and love for it. I know a lot of people love to see derailments and crashes with their mall trains. It's all good. Whatever makes you happy. But for me, um, yeah, I think, uh, you know, just take care. Take, take care of it because trains do uh, do well in the resale market. Um, there, there's, there are fans. I mean, train fans are quite dedicated. And... Um, they know that uh, people who maintain them or collect them are people who usually are good at, um, once they're done, they put them in their little binders or wherever you keep them, and they really uh, are hardcore in maintaining them. Um, it's just the nature of things, especially Japanese model train fans. They'll, they'll buy the Atomix and the Kato Clear cases or Casco cases and just really... Uh, you know, make sure they're ma well maintained and uh, not getting any dirt or dust in them, and and so forth. So you can uh, definitely f uh, feel a peace of mind on that. But anyway, uh, this is the end of episode 31, and I hope you enjoyed it. Again, um, you know, continue the train collecting, continue the train uh, buying. Right now, it's it's a good time, especially you got to take advantage of these times where the uh, where your your world's currency is probably better do, doing better than the yen, um, to the chagrin, of course, of in Japan, who's you know people who are unfortunately having to pay a lot, and it's been tough. But uh, for those outside of Japan, now's the time to get it. Uh, a lot of these trains, while they're you know while the yen, while you know maybe the dollar or the the pound, it's, it's probably doing better than the yen right now. So you got to take advantage of it. And uh, again, there's so many good stuff out there. And, um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. So you guys all, I'll see you later and, uh, you have a good rest of your week 
and I'll be back with more, uh, uh, you know, um, more Tetsuo Moke reviews in the uh, upcoming episode. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.